Welcome back. In this video, let's learn how to find a node given its value. For our implementation, we will return the first index or position at which the value is present or minus one if the value is not found in the list. If you wish to, you could also return the node itself. The implementation is very similar to the print method and falls under two categories. The first scenario is where the list is empty. In such a case, we return minus one as no node can be found. Let's call the method search, which accepts the value that a node might contain. To handle scenario one, we make use of an if statement. If the list is empty, we return minus one. With this condition here, we are basically ensuring at least one node is present in the list, which might contain a value equal to the passed in value. You're always welcome to add a message before returning from the method for more clarity in the log statements. Let's now move on to the second scenario where the list is not empty. Like I mentioned earlier, the logic is very similar to the print method. However, instead of logging the node value to the console, we return the index of that node. Here is how we are going to do that. We're going to create a variable i to keep track of the node index and a temporary pointer called current to traverse the list current will point at the head node to begin with. We will then use the next pointer in each node to advance the current pointer and check if the node contains the search value. If it does, we return the index value. In our example here, we are trying to find a node with value 30. We find it at index 2 using the current pointer. If we reach a state where current pointer points at null, we have crossed the last node in the list and we did not encounter the search value. In that case, we simply return minus one. If this is clear, let's go back to replit and write the code. Begin by defining a new variable to track the index. Let i is equal to zero. Next, create a temporary pointer called current that points at head. Let current is equal to this dot head. We now traverse the list with the condition that current is not pointing at null. So while current is true, Compare if the current node value is equal to the passed in value. If it is, return the index. If it isn't, advance the current pointer and increment the index. So current is equal to current dot next and then i plus plus. When the while loop exits, we can infer the node was not found in the list and we return minus one. This is the implementation of the search method on a linked list. Let's test to make sure it works as expected. I'm going to leave the insertion calls as is and remove the deletion calls. Instead, I'm going to call list.search passing in 20. Run the code and you can see it returns 0 since 20 is at the 0th position in the list. Search 40. Run the code and we see 2. 
search 60 and that returns minus 1. Our search method works as expected. Now these are pretty much the basic methods you would need to implement on a linked list. As an added bonus, I want to show you how to implement the reverse list method which is used to reverse the linked list. Reversing a linked list is a common interview question, so let's tackle that in the next video.